I just got back from a week-long journey through multiple countries in Europe looking for the best Christmas markets and I gotta tell you Vienna easily takes the cake. Vienna has so many Christmas markets to visit that all have different vibes so it's the perfect destination for any Christmas lover. Before I dive into the markets you have to visit let's quickly talk about the must-try food and drinks to get which are pretty much available at any market. First we're gonna start with punch because they love their punch and they have a million different flavors so basically how it works with drinks at Christmas markets is that you go up to a stall selling a drink and you pay for the drink and put a deposit down for a cup or a mug then if you return the cup or mug you get that deposit back so I did the research for you and a lot of them are super boring plain mugs you know like a plain white mug plain black mug I even saw a few that just looked like cups they didn't even look like mugs but in Steven Platt's market which I'll talk more about later they have the cutest mugs in the shape of like a little stocking or like a Christmas sock it was so cute and so worth keeping and not getting our deposit back then we have your classic bratwurst which you know is always a classic choice when you're in Central Europe or Germany essentially it's a sausage in a bun topped with onions sauerkraut and mustard so it's really an elevated hot dog they also have something called a case craner which is a cheese stuffed sausage next you absolutely have to try a chimney cake which is essentially a sugar bread that's hollow and a super cute photo opportunity and you can get the outside rolled in whatever you want you know like cinnamon hazelnuts chocolate so many different options and some stalls even have an option where you can put a thin layer of Nutella on the inside which I would highly recommend. Next I highly recommend trying beef goulash. Most markets sell them in a bread bowl so it's a perfect meal when it's cold outside and it's super filling. It's basically a beef stew and it's delicious. And lastly I recommend trying cast spatzel. Caspatzel, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, which is basically egg noodles with dough to make like these little dumpling type things. And it's cooked with a ton of cheese and onion. So it's basically like the German or Austrian version of mac and cheese. And it's super, super rich. So I do recommend sharing it, but it is super delicious. Now, before I dive into the Christmas markets, one little note or tip, make sure you have cash for these markets. I'd say about 85 to 90-ish percent of all vendors at the Christmas markets only accept cash. There are a few stalls that do take card, usually like the bigger punch stands will accept card, but a lot of them only accept cash. There are ATMs usually somewhere within each of the markets, but I always recommend getting cash out from an ATM at a proper bank rather than just a random ATM just to be safe. Okay, without further ado, let's dive into the Christmas markets. Even though they are all great, I'm going to talk about them, starting with some of my least favorite, leading all the way up to my favorites. So we'll start with Spittleberg Gossi. Spittleberg Gossi. Which to be fair to this one, it was barely starting to open up by the time that we got there. So we really didn't get to see it in its full glory, but it's more down this narrow street instead of more of like a village format. And it's one of the furthest ones from city center. So that's kind of why it's first on the list. Next we have Free Young Platz. This one's pretty cute. It lines one of the main roads in central Vienna, but it also kind of has like a village format. The stalls are all wooden with lights and garland lines the edges so it makes it feel very charming very cute it has tons of little artisan craft stalls selling ornaments Christmas decor and lots of delicious snacks and drinks Next we have Amhof, which is where I went food crazy. It's right next to Free Young Platz, just a little further up the road. And it definitely has more of a village feel because it's not lining the streets. It actually is just taking up an entire square or plaza. So the stalls are also wooden with lights lining the edges, but there are no garlands. So it does look a little bit different than Free Young Platz. Nearly all of the markets do have the same food options, but this is where I actually tried some of the foods that I was talking about earlier, like the chimney cake lined with Nutella on the inside, which was amazing, beef goulash in a bread bowl, which again was to die for, and the Kassbatzel. <laughs> Next we have a much bigger Christmas market, Maria Theresienplatz, which has one of the most beautiful backdrops and is set inside a square. So it's this massive circular village with so many wooden stalls that all have these beautiful icicle Christmas lights hanging from their roofs. You could really spend some time here looking at all the crafts, all of the Christmas decor stalls, along with all of the food and punch.
up, we have one of the biggest Christmas markets in all of Vienna, Karlsplatz. I had read that this one was considered the dreamiest of all the Christmas markets in Vienna, so I was really, really excited to go here. It definitely has a beautiful backdrop and something that none of the other Christmas markets had, which was a petting zoo in the middle of it. It really, really is beautiful, but it wasn't the dreamiest in my opinion. We have two more that I absolutely fell in love with and I felt were a little bit more dreamy. Next is the absolute showstopper, Stevens Platz, which is in the square right next to St. Stephen's Cathedral. We went during the day before it had opened and it still just looked so nice just because the church is just spectacular. It really is so detailed and so intricate. But then we went back at night and it was just out of this world. I honestly shed a tear just being there because it was everything I had ever wanted to see on my European Christmas market trip. The church is illuminated in this deep purplish pinkish color which just makes it pop and then there's a huge christmas tree in front and all of the stalls have these stunning light fixtures on top this is also the market i mentioned earlier in the video that had the cutest mugs for the punch that were bright red little stockings that said vienna on them so they were amazing souvenirs and now the moment you've all been waiting for, my favorite Christmas market in all of Vienna, the most dreamiest Christmas market in Vienna, in my opinion, Rathausplatz. When you walk up to this market, you truly feel like you have been transported to the North Pole. You walk up and there's this huge lit up arch that says Vienna Christmas Market. There's an ice rink that kind of wraps around the entire Christmas village. There's a stunning carousel that's all lit up and really is like the focal point of the market right in front of the Vienna City Hall, which of course is a stunning building. Just like all of Vienna, they have stunning buildings everywhere. It is one of the biggest markets. You could literally walk around here for hours and not even see everything or try all of the food offered at all of the food stalls. There's even this magical huge stall with the most ornate and intricate Christmas ornaments I've ever seen. I spent so much time just looking at all of them. It's a Christmas lover's dream. If you're obsessed with Christmas lights, decor, markets, and just all things Christmas, don't forget to take a trip to the city that was just voted 2023's most magical Christmas light displays in Europe, London. Check out this video for the ultimate London Christmas guide.